Another hero that they played before. Uh, what did we just talk earlier? We're talking a, a little bit of trash about the TB and not putting as much respect on the hero's name. Now that he is here, do you like it, Black? Especially now that IG has Ember Spirit, so they have the dual combo with the Tree and Protector. And it's FY stop yeah. soaking XP, bro. He forged the wave. They're gonna try and go for it. Emo is level six. He does oh, have emo. mana. Oh my gosh, Emo gets it. Sniped by Imitator, though. The triple remnant in. Yeah. You remember how or people said remnant, sorry. the flame god thing was a buff? Brewmaster Tranquil Boots in the off lane. Interesting. It is strange. I guess he's really fast with the drunken brawler. Goodbye, Warlock. <laughs> Why is gonna toss him back a little bit with the dispose, but all these. He might just die underneath his own tower. A few more seconds on this split. They're going to be able to chase him down, burn him at the end. But FY is here. Yeah. Ability. Bottom lane looks like he might be gearing up for a He's play He's level 6 on the wall lock. Oh, and 7e. E. He will find Ollie behind the tower, but you're right. Yeah, level 6 on the Warlock is going to make this a little bit scary. They are going to try and jump on the 7e, but there it is. The golem comes down the rolling thunder. Not gonna end up getting committed, but they will just try and chase FY, but he just wow. leaps out of there. I actually do wonder, you know, if they can start pushing the objectives on IG, like they've only really scratched this bottom tower, uh, or they're taking down the bottom tower, but scratch mid tower. Still managed to keep himself alive. Treant just doing his absolute best to keep top tower alive, and I think we might see Meta Whoa. come in. Oh they yeah, in the jungle. Again. Yeah, they'll get Rubik for 70 with the chain stuns are there. Fly Fly, he does have an Omni Slash. Debating on using it will do so, but just getting tanked by the creeps instead. And here comes the split. Fly Fly's got no spin. He's so dead. Two kills. Go to CDEC. Just mind you, this he decided not to go for it. And then comes the DP. There's going to be the Exorcism. Toss back. We just run away does or what? Have that Manta does have that Sunder. The stun's there. He will oh. finally drop it onto FY. Try to turn around onto JT, but the BKB is there. There's going to be the Omni Slash. They've got the damage, and seven E's come too far forward. That's going to be his Aegis. Here comes the Brewmaster. Nice Cinder Brew Stomp. There's going to be a good uh, slow in Either here walk. from Undyne, but Fly Fly with this Blade Fury is doing work. Seven E with the roll up, trying to get him out, but he's not going to be able to do so on the Warlock, and he can't they're play. continuing the chase. Oh, he can't, but he does get the Rolling Thunder off at what the last slide. second. Oh, bottom, potentially. Question is, will they find one? They get Fly Fly. Oh, oh no. no. That is about Again. as what? bad it could be. Uh, uh, there was a massive pickoff and very well executed, but I really the split from the Brewmaster. So Everything preemptively used. He gets Fly Fly, he's in the air, and now they're gonna jump onto JT! The, the golem down. comes down! He's just dead! So much damage from the Terror Lane, pops the BKB, FY is gone as well, the Brewmaster just removing the Juggernaut from the fight, and in comes Emo! He's not gonna get the Aegis either, and he's gonna have to disengage one remnant. High ground. Yeah, Instructor Terror Blast has... Manta, still, still Aegis. Ooh, nice dispose back, he's in a rough spot, but in comes 70 on the Rolling Thunder, they managed... He just displaces the Terrorblade back outside of the base, thanks for the Rubik. The Shard just doing wonders this game. Gonna try to turn around, the Golem comes the down onto Fly Fly. He pops the Manta trying to get away, and now a nice overgrowth there, but there it is. The BKB comes through from the Terrorblade, turning his attention back onto Emo. He did buy back for this. He cannot afford to go down twice. Juggernaut spending some time in the skies. FY, though, able to escape for the moment, thanks to this Halberd doing some work. The Omni Slash. He no. no shot, he gets the Sunder! Oh my gosh! You know, sometimes invisibility is invincibility in this game, and they are just crumbling here one by one. He's still got that Aegis. It will finally get popped, but most of your spells are... We're just putting top. They're not in position. They're gonna lose top Rex. I mean, you're right, but they do what manage to made? find the Terror Blade in the mid lane. That's huge. The 70 is coming. He's going to buy back, though. A nice Rolling Thunder will be able to finish off that Marcy. Fly Fly, his ult, uh, pretty much unlucky bounce there. Ended up going on over to the Panda. Imitator trying to TP out. JT, he's on the high ground. They have a way to stop it. There's going to be the Telekinesis. Your Death Prophet is done. Up IG, they just want to take the fight right to CDC. They cannot sit in their base any longer. They're going to find Brewmaster. Yeah, so he's got an A on this. 
he doesn't really matter all that much and there's gonna be the terror blade turns it on do they get evo he gets to slide a fist off for the moment he's gonna try to survive fy not gonna be as lucky undone to the backside glimmer cape giving him a little bit of space he does end up taking down to the ember spray he's lost so many of his remnants out over to emo this guy is just owning but he's out of mana emo needs to escape Will he be able to? No bash from 7E and that remnant does some tape. And finally, Terrorblade's gonna join him on the high ground, but he gets dead, caught. Omni slash Hex four stabs him out. He's a, he's alive. He's just in this. Red. He's gonna survive. And there it is. The Rax falls to the Brewmaster. That's gonna be the Mega Creeps, the objective that they've wanted all along. Give Meanwhile, FY is gonna find 7E on the side. Stolen Omni slash from the Rubik. Some fun stuff there. Huh? But they're just all survived. They're able to kite this out so far on CDEC. They do take down Imitator, eventually 7E will not be able to TP home. But no. it's just, it feels like it's not enough for IG. They have lost, I mean, he's got that A on this and a flicker. It, this hero is just impossible to kill, I feel like. He's gonna be able to throw Emo into the sky. There's a fight breaking on the other side. They get the Terror Blade. 7E seven e is in, he's got the buyback. They did commit the Omni Slash for this. Fly Fly is looking to take down Undyne. He will be able to do so, but in comes Terror Blade. If they get the Juggernaut, you are in a terrible Bye -bye. position. They've caught him. Emo, gonna go ahead and use those boss to try and join the fight. JT is here with that Exorcism as well, but you're dealing into the meta of the Terror Blade. You've gotta find a way to get out of here, but they've managed to lock him down. JT is down. He's gonna buy back Fly Fly, BKB. <gasps> the Abyssal, they caught him. The Juggernauts, he's got the Divine. Dead. It's on the ground. Oh no. And that's Terrible present. Oh, is and it? all your tier fours here. are gone. I actually kind of like it being on 7E at the moment. Because, yeah, easily with like Blink Rolling Thunder and then just come out of Rolling Thunder and, and just bash kill them. Oh, Brewmaster uh, again, man. Brewmaster's so just in onto the throne. You've got a fortification. You will eventually have to commit this as this dude has endless splits at this point. Yeah. He also went for the AC to buff all his brunings and reduce the armor by five. But yeah, if you're treated now, your duty is permanent armor onto the throne. It's taking so much damage, they have, they have a clip though. There's the Terra Wave, they get on top of JT, he's hexed as well, can oh, he get man. out? He gets the invis, but it's not gonna be enough, they bring him down and they're just focusing the throne, Terra Blade, he's got his eyes on the prize, Meta's gonna come through now, there's the Chaotic Offering, Emo doing what he can to split this one up, but 70 with the Rapier on the throne, the game one goes the way of CDEC, baby! Playing would be so brutal. <sighs> yeah. uh, let's see. Out of the buffet of your life, over the tide. Oh, all right. Now, that, that I don't like. It's a the mid tide, Hunter. It's Ooh. mid tide, though. Oh. Seven E's played mid tide a handful of times, actually. Jump right into a potential team fight bottom as Imitator goes in. Nice rebound. The Mystic Snake and a big plasma field. Fly Fly will be able to doppelganger away, but they will chase down Ollie, and the first blood goes to QAQ. Oh. Yeah, that's about as good as you can get. I mean, obviously, you'd love the first blood to be on your mid. Is, is it how that, that looks in the actual game, too? Yeah, in the actual game, it's just invisible. Is, is that why everyone's running the Christmas tree now? I don't know if it's just the Christmas tree. I know there's multiple ones that oh, are Ollie, 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 top Ollie. lane. Ollie goes down again. All you right. are not supposed to lose this lane to raise a Marcy. Like, Ench is all about winning the lane and giving you PL free farm. She did go Nature's Attendance alone. Yeah, has a healing self too. But Adusa is definitely farming way more than I thought she would. And Tree's oh, getting tossed in, but there's not an easy fight for them. They're actually teeping in the Marcy. Dispose. Oh, Gonna go on to JT, actually. And that will pull him right back into the danger zone. Nice nature's grasp. He ends up sniping him with those axes, but they take down JT for the second time. Is that rotation worth it, though? Because you lost Razor top as he gets dove. Even with like three heroes. Oh, Crop is dipping into the bottom. Dusa has 20 stick charters though. Very survivable. Yeah, she is, but the question is, will she be able to, uh, yeah. And Emo blinks She's in. out of mana, but Emo gets pulled in. Doesn't have a blink for a few more seconds. Big Sonic Wave into the Scream of Pain as well. They will take down the Treant and Imitator as well. Will join yeah. him, so JT grabbing that living armor. That uh, tied pretty far away. FY comes in. He's going to go for it. I have the storm comes through. Fly Fly just goes in. He gets the static link. But yeah, that's what we were talking about. The damage there. Imitator. The damage. He's, he dies. They get the kill. Oh my gosh. The, the pulse is unleashed. Bless the. Uh, 
Nature's Grasp, they got him. And now all the in some trouble. Imitator trying to finish him off, getting healed up by those Nature's Attendants. They don't have the damage to finish off the Enchantress. They... We'll go ahead and reveal 70's Ags off of that one. Looking to get on top of FY, not gonna have... Uh, Undyne just dies soul on the backside to Fly Fly. Dude, yeah, they're looking at the mid. Support, they're gonna but... just take the fight. You do have the BKB yeah. on the Razor, but QAQ, he's gotta... He's gotta have the Stone Gaze going soon. In some trouble, toss out from FY. There's gonna be the Roar onto the Razor, making some space, but a huge Sonic Wave. Emo just melts that Marcy, and they even go ahead and let that uh, Stone Gaze rip onto Fly Fly on the backside. Ravage is available, but it doesn't matter. They don't have the damage, they don't have the follow-up. They're just gonna try and run away. FY goes in, he gets the toss back. Medusa in a terrible spot now. JT trying to hobble away, managed to take down the Aegis there. They will finish off the Beastmaster 7E, doing what he can here on the Tide to reduce the damage, tank this up as much as possible, but Emo gets the blink home. And now Fly Fly looking to chase the Razor even further out, but he just goes down. They've got so much damage. Fly Fly trying to hobble away. The rebound forward, oh. he gets the doppelganger, he pops the stick, uses that dis. Oh he my mana god. For the gush. He doesn't have mana for the gush. He's got a uh, Sol Ring in two, but up onto the high ground he goes. He's oh, got him, finally. Awesome. The gush damage of fifth scrappy start to this engagement. 7E needs to be careful. He's going to lose a lot of his mana here. There's going to be the Avalanche as well. 7E has to get away. Rebound on Ford. Imitator eats a roar, but uh, just instantly dies. There's the Blink. There's the Ravage, though. Plus the Stone Gaze. They managed to take down what? FY trying to hobble away underneath the Eye of the Storm with that TP out. It's not going to be enough, but they managed to get on top of QAQ on the backside. The Sonic Wave. He's trying to stand his ground. The Evasion is doing some work, but it's not going to be enough. And QAQ will go down. 7E out of mana, can't contribute. Razor tries to TP home. Hey, for one more. What no, he's gonna TP back, okay. I'm surprised he TP'd back. Or, to be honest with you. wait a minute. Uh -huh. uh, Tidehunter Avalanche tosses him in place. He's got the Ravage, trying to hold him to break, kills wow. him. He is dead instantly, but the Roots onto the Queen of Pain. The Stone Gaze will not lock her down long enough, and Emo will be able to blink out. They get nothing on CDEC for this. The buyback of the Tide, fly, F FY actually gets out. Undyne stuck outside the base. They lose a third? Dude. Yeah, FY is just outplaying them. Playing with them. <laughs> and yeah, as you said, all ults expended. Wait, we, we still have double ravage. You still have double ravage. But he doesn't care about that. He still has ages. Nah. They're just going to have to give up the barracks. There's nothing you can do, but they're just going to go multiple lanes here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he just feels very pressured right now to stand in the fight and, and hit, right? Like, I like Satanic personally, too. Oh, the Bottom lane, up. Imitator, goodbye! Emo snipes him, who's having such a sick game on this hero, by the way. Yeah. They're going to PL, there's no Aegis this time! Oh, first Ravage! Second one yes, comes second. out, but it's a little bit too late. He's gonna be able to get away, and they're gonna turn their attention on to Ollie. Nice overgrowth, one of them in place. The Enchantress, is that all you get for this is the question. It has to be more than this big Sonic Wave from Emo with that uh, Arcane Rune just doing work and they take down the Tide. That's a dieback. Emo falling low, blinks out. He's going to survive so much. Ex all of his attacks, uh, items give him attack speed. Out of the yeah. Avalanche toss back. They found the Medusa. QAQ in a bad spot. No BKB for a few seconds. Roar does come out, holding her in place. JT, nice use of the headband there to break that static link, but they're on top of the Medusa. She's dead. That's got to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, GG gets called, and IG will take game number two. Yeah, a much more convincing IG showing this time around. Dude, I just can't help yeah. but wonder how easy this game would have been for CD. Uh, like more to work with um unironically it's a very good pudge game but you just like can't really last pick pudge here with no carry so it will take the specter instead i, I don't know I, I don't know if the specter really of course west is probably just like normal earn into midas is what most people do yeah that's like jt Ooh. oh he gets first blood on the undying he almost thinks he's gonna get he, he tried he went for it but jt Stays yeah. alive with a fairy fire pop, so... Uh, oh, is the TA yeah. dead, maybe? Oh, back the other way. Way. A couple <laughs> auto-attacks from Imitator. Drops a sentry for wow. vision, breaks the salve, but you still lose the tiny. 
An imitator. Oh no! Whiffs on the illuminate, so Fly Fly will live. Red. Yep. Yeah, overall, game pretty pretty even, I guess, like in CS terms, but 70 mid lane. There's a rotation from FY. Gets the stick off for the moment. Not gonna let him. Oh, they are gonna go for it. Ah, uh, he has no mana though, so no damage. Oh, uh, he's, he's gonna bulwark back into the base. He's got a, oh, he's got a stick. Oh my gosh, FY. <laughs> They're gonna turn their dead shot over to Emo. Uh, I mean, Emo is fine, right? The, the Triant is coming, actually. He, he does have, he has, no, he has no mana for uh, Ghost Walk. Not for a couple more seconds, 10 yeah. Damage, Shadow Shaman is probably the best. Oh, he didn't toss it. Yeah, he will use it now, but like you said, as a result, without the toss, he's just able to stall this out a little bit more. He's definitely going to die here, auto attack plus the tree toss, but... And they're going to run right into Spectre. Oh, oh Spectre. no, QAQ. Oh. The oh, impale off the, the mark. off the mark. Ollie, though, going to be able to chase him. Does have Hex, does not find it, but there it is. He gets the Hex onto 7E. Nice overgrowth on the backside. He doesn't have the chance for the arena. Will drop it now. Finds FY and Ollie on the backside. JD, like you said, has the BKB available. Avalanche does come through, takes a ton of damage. He, I mean, that BKB, BKB might not protect enough. him here. He's gonna try and TP. Do they have the damage to finish him off? They do not. God's Rebuke just a couple and off of that. Looks like QAQ should be able to take it. Big Tornado. EMP, they're gonna fly back on the next 7E. Gets the arena down. Emo got pushed out of the arena though. Avalanche toss on the backside. 7E hobbling away. Does end up falling a one for one trade as Fly Fly gonna turn his attention on over to Undyne. Easy pick off for them. So a two for two overall, but there is the buyback coming in handy is FY. He's managed to find that tiny. He's got a blink in one, gets canceled. JT's there, a trap to slow him. He is surrounded by the side of IG. They'll get themselves. This is like such a perfect Basher Scotty game. Yeah, yeah. It's very unusual to see a Bash at this early on a Spectre, but let's see if we can do some work. Oh, they find the FY, oh, Emo on the backside. He gets him on the spike, Carapace, he gets beautiful. Bash. But there it is. Yeah, the bash, the haunt on in. Oh you gosh, lose two right away. Yeah, they're going for it. Nice interrupt you on can't FY, the bash, but huh? Emo trying to hobble away. Oh, the bash. You, you just you can't get away. You actually cannot get away. Top lane though, FY with the interruption does manage to set up a kill there onto the tiny. But yeah, that is that is rough. He put BKB on GT, but he can't run away. The dagger slow too. Dagger, yeah. Plus Scotty, Basher. He no just got Desolate yeah. working on him. Undone. He <laughs> He's got overgrowth if they want to go for it. 7E hits him with a spear as well, and that is it. Razor down as well. Flyfly Fly up on the high ground doing what he can. The Hex comes out for Bali. There's the overgrowth. QAQ might actually be a little bit too forward this time, but Shackles doing some work. Bash up onto and the Shadow Shaman. He is all alone, but he gets the kill of one. Bash onto FY. He's got it's that age. He missed. The evasion from the tunic. All right, it's not going to be enough. Fy able to hobble away. Fly, fly. Hey, guard. The CJT. Fly, fly. They've got him as well. No BKB. Uh, no BKB. No BKB. Oh. oh, he gets the blink out last second. JT is going to hit that refresher. Turn it around onto Imitator the four staff. He does end up finishing off that kill, and now 7E in trouble. He's going to activate that second BKB. Try and TP home. No chance. All right, JT, some big happen? plays coming out here from the Razor. And uh, they might get more. Yeah, they just take down Undyne. The smoke up here from IG. They want to try and go into the pit. Fly, fly, avalanche. Toss back. He's not in a great spot, but he gets the blink out right away. The refraction's going to save him. Spear off the mark, but Emo trapped inside the arena. The There's going to be the Abyssal. The bashes. He's down without buyback. Oh, buyback. A huge death. And fly, fly, he's got no BKB of his own. He needs space for now. Nice Hurricane Pike away to send the Spectre. They take down the Tree and Protector. Clean up the wards in the center there. They are so worried about this rush fight. Haunt is up in 20. To leave three heroes dead JT. on the side of IG and uh, JT needs to run and fast. The blink spear, it connects. The team's gonna be able dead. to follow this one up. And that Razor is super dead. I can't believe what I'm seeing. They drop wards into the pit. Spectre was the only person inside the pit and then Tiny joins her. No dire P maybe? 
Ice wall, oh, yeah. Bull spear gets dodged by the BKB, but there's the, the abyssal in an arena. Fly fly can't help him. He's stuck here inside. He's gonna get isolated no out the toss back. Fly fly is in so no much way. danger. That's a die. No buyback. That's it, man. It, like, game. what can you do? IG are just crumbling to CDEC here. JT, the one man wonder, can he do it? The bash out from QAQ. Just kited out that toss BKB. Back. There's the toss back. JT goes down at. Oh, don't don't break the item. It's a bait, right? I'm sure you're familiar with this. It allows buyback yeah, if you okay. break it. Yeah. Uh, QAQ. They don't care about it at all. They don't. They're like, yeah, we're not falling for that trick before. We've seen it. We know how this works. Haunt on over from QAQ, bash onto Ollie. Ollie goes down, GG. FY trying to hide, but there it is. The GG comes I'm out, it's CDC, baby! Now. On the back of the Spectre, we were talking about the late game, and they got there. Right.